Hello guys and welcome um, to Back to a di the Diary of a Whoopie Kid. These books uh we're gonna run all sixteen books what's the best and this is my opinion so please don't get mad at me in the comments. Number number sixteen, third wheel. This is the book that I kind of don't. This is the kind of only book that's not that I don't like. Out of all the books, this one is the worst because of this bad thing that happened to Gragdon and bad things that he does to Lowry. He he gets tossed. No, and third wheel. Greg basically is getting tossed. Said, and he's not gonna get married anytime soon. Cause this man doesn't look like he's gonna get married at all. Well, now onto the number fifteen book. Hard Rock. Hard Rock is one of those books. Why is it place 15 if you if it, you like it? Well, first of all, this is a sequel to the book that I didn't like this month. It was Third Wheel. And Third Wheel wasn't that good. You know how bad that was. No, I probably still like Hard Rock. It was just about, it's just not the best. On to number 14, The Ugly Truth. This book kind of is underwhelming. And, but I do like it. It's basically a sequel to one of those school things. For when he goes to school. Like in F, almost every diary of a whoopee kid book, he goes to school. Like every, almost every diary does that. Uh, it's getting old, but this was the second time it did that. And but the ugly troop didn't really feature anything. It was kind of a boring book. It kind of is a boring book. On the number thirteen, dog days. Aids. Bad. It is. It's good actually, but it's really just underwhelming. Like in the movie, it was the third movie was Dark Days, and it basically stole the third movie. Basically stole what last last world's chance of getting into the feeders. Because of dog days. If dog days would never would never exist, last wall there would be a movie of last wall. And that movie they should part of it do separate movies. Take out the last wall name away. Not cool Mr. Greg. Number twelve Old School Oh this arm literally, literally is just like fun. It's not like all the schools kind of are like underwhelming. Some YouTubers even say he's dead, which I disagree. Greg is not gonna die here soon. He'll if. He died here soon. That'd be, tra that'd be tragic. Number eleven, deep end. The deep end is is the worst out of the three world trips. And and I still think it's a good book, even if that wasn't good enough. This book kind of looks kind of neat, but 
And this is the book that uses Book 14's art style as well, so that makes it good. But people keep on criticizing the book because they don't know what they're doing because this book is good. Did they ever read the humor from this book? They're just calling it a some people putting it in E tier or at the very bottom. It is at the bottom, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. You should read it. You should read 15 out of the 16 books I'm explaining here. Number 10, Meltdown. And I, I think, I think Meltdown is a pretty solid book. Because Meltdown's basically a book about Greg being so hot that, and then it is about winter and battling. Literally, this book has the most funny humor uh, in the series. I'm going to go a bit faster here. So, for number nine, how a movie that was really bad, but the book was really good. This is one of for World Kids, I'm gonna say it's the sec it's in the middle of get away and deep end. It was the very first book that did this. And this was really just f funny. This book is like a kind of classic road trip humor in it. Makes it fun, but also not not boring like some of the box. And like this box, if we this book, people say Greg dies in this book, but I still don't believe it. I don't believe Greg dies in this book. I don't believe what other YouTubers say. Number eight, Cavern Fever. There was a reason why this book was a double one seller and sold so well that this book should have gotten the movie on Disney Plus. Because this was probably one of the best diary of a Whoopi Kid box in the series. By style points, I think this book sold the most of the series, and this book got people into the series. But I don't really. Does this man really think that he's crazy? Yeah, Jeff Pretty actually had a good. Have one of the. Probably one of the last classic books. Next that people would play, but. But really, it's just a really good book. On to number seven, Getaway. Getaway? It is... It is kind of like a book like that is funny and also keeps the series of... This is probably one of the best ones of the world trip because even though a cop did wrong haul, I think this is better than Long Haul because this this emphasizes the more like going places. That's what a road trip is. Going the you're on it's winter time. And I think this is a this was before and then Mountdown's probably a sequel to this. I don't think so because it's cold. But it's probably Happen right after, and then we get a huge snowstorm there. On to number six. And plus, the books we haven't eliminated with are books one, which is the original, book two, book three, book eleven, book fourteen, and book sixteen. The last fall. This should have been the third movie, not some. not some like. Dog days, not dog. Dog days shouldn't be in that in that spot. They shouldn't have reported this book in that spot. It should be so much better than than that. At under the number five spot, we're in the top five. So these are 
like booked, I would recommend. What will we will? I mean, will we will we will we will we recommend? Pixar. Why did this deserve in the top five? Because if this the reason for if we live in the classic box, this basically we live all the classic box and go. So so basically, Jeff Kenny's going back to the cla- going back to classics, going back to the classics. In this book, we scouted that so much. This and the number four, the original. This is original. If you're getting into the series, I think you should start with this book. Cause it's not right without starting without this with this book, and then you can go over all over the place like gods. But really, I think just that that the nice thing is is that. Is that this book? If it helps us put the one shot in the series, I would put it much lower if it ever put it in a real weapon spot if this wasn't the classic. If it wasn't the classic, this lighting is this lighting though is old, super old. And this should be retired. Well, this then should be this is and this marks the twenty fifth and no, I mean the 15th anniversary of this book, of the series. So this should do a f- an attack that has, this gonna say, the 15th anniversary. Mm, really. On to number three. Or, or, the bronze medal goes to Logic Woods. Logic Woods? It is one of the best sequels in in book history. This this almost this is probably the second best sequel in history. Nothing can wear off to this sequel. Because this sequel basically a poops in the first book in every way. And Rorschach is probably the main dude because he's literally, this is, this is probably the only time that you get to see two characters on once. This is, this is the only color that you get to see Lazarus on. Why did I not do this with other characters? As the silver medal goes to Wrecking Ball. Oh, this one? I like this one. Let's the sm- let the tagline smash everything. I know I'm gonna love that. And this is probably one of these books that they can't mess up. This book really, and this was before Deep End, which I put really in the Reddit spot. But this book never di- disappoints me. And these books should be praised for it. The gold medal goes to Double Down. Where could I even start at this one? This one is a true masterpiece. Is this book? And even the title remasters the cheese tots from the very first book. But this book... It's based on Halloween, which is one of the scenes in, in the diary of a Whoopi Kid movie. And I think this acts best more than the animated movie. Yeah. So that's it, guys. The waking with Double Down being at the top and Third Wheel being at the bottom. I would recommend 15 of the 16 books here. All of them are good in my eyes, except for Third Wheel. So guys, I will see you later. Bye.